It's time for the Donna K Show. Sometimes controversial, but always authentic. The Donna K Show is a music insider's view into the world of business and entertainment. Hosted by writer, director, and music entrepreneur, yours truly, Donna K. Let's get it started. Hola, people. Hola. Yours truly, Donna K. You can check me out on Twitter and Instagram at The Diamond K Show. Also daily on Ustreamradio.com. Anyone looking for interviews, uh, hit me up. Interviews at Ustreamradio.com. If you got something going on, I would love to talk to you. Uh, hit me up there so we can make that happen. Now, with that being said, um, Gucci Man facing possible 20-year sentence uh, and a $500,000 fine after now being indicted on federal gun charges and he has been dropped now from Atlantic Records. Um, Wow. I mean, you know, the trouble for Gucci Man, it just keeps it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Um, At one point in time, I would say about 10 years ago when I first became aware of the rapper known as Gucci Mane, um, you know, he was on top of the world uh, within a few years after that. Um, and now it is just, it has just gone from bad to worse. Uh, now he has been indicted on two federal charges of being a felon in possession of a gun. The U.S. Attorney's Office uh, for the Northern District of Georgia alleges Gucci man, real name Roderick Davis, uh, brandishes a handgun and threatened police on two occasions in September. Uh, Lord, I mean, the charges were handed down uh, today, Tuesday, December the 3rd. Federal prosecutors released a press statement detailing the incidents that led to the indictment, and they are as follows. On September the 12th, 2013, Davis, a.k.a. Gucci Mane, uh, who was a felon at the time, was found in possession of a firearm. Then, just two days later, on September the 14th, he again possessed a firearm different from the earlier gun. On both occasions, Davis displayed the loaded firearm, acted erratically, and made threats to individuals, including police and his attorney okay atlantic records has reportedly dropped the 1017 brick squad ceo as well each charge of being a felon in possession of a firearm carries a maximum sentence of up to 10 years in prison and a fine of up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars this is how people get hurt and we are committed to ensuring that convicted felons not have guns, uh, says the U.S. Attorney Sally Yates um, after after the press release. Um, and as we previously reported here on UstreamRadio.com and various outlets, the rapper was ordered to surrender his 40 caliber Glock and 45 caliber Taurus and ammunition. And uh, as we previously reported, Gucci Man uh, has been arrested at least once a year um, uh, on various charges, uh, ranging from assault to possession of drugs, et cetera, et cetera. And the Atlanta police chief, George Turner, said via a statement, we cannot tolerate convicted felons ignoring the law by carrying firearms and endangering our citizens. Um, it's not looking good for um for Gucci man um, it's not really a lot that can be said uh, about it we will definitely keep you uh, posted on everything that happens as it relates to this case and many others here at ustreamradio.com with that being said yours truly Diamond K I'm signing out uh, as always artists can send their music to ustreamradio mp3s at gmail.com uh, anyone that has something going on needs an interview interviews at ustreamradio.com hit me up i definitely would like to talk to you yours truly diamond k i will see you guys next time